This is the Mosaic Viva, Stephen Gross pattern from Yorkshire, England. It's a great streamer to have in your box, works for trout, bass, and many other freshwater, saltwater species. Let's tie it. Start off with the nymph style hook. You can also tie it on a streamer hook if you'd like. This is a size eight. We're gonna use black ultra thread and 140 denier. Get it started on the front side of the hook, leaving a little gap behind the eye because we don't, we wanna have space uh, for tying the head of this fly and make sure we have enough room to tie in our final wing at the end. So leave a little bit of space at the front. Go ahead and bring your thread all the way to the back side of the hook where we're gonna tie in our tail which is chartreuse marabou. Typically, I'm gonna measure this marabou to be the same length as the body of the fly, but uh, we just want it to be more of a tag than a tail, so it's gonna be a little bit shorter. Tie it in at the back side of the hook and then bring your thread forward and capture some of the, that marabou down on the hook shank before trimming off the excess and, and securing it down as you bring your thread forward. Bring your thread back to the original tying point where you tied in that marabou and we're going to we're going to put in our ribbing material next which is SSS diamond braid. Tie in that uh, diamond braid hanging off the back of the fly and then our body material is crystal chenille. Strip the chenille fibers away from the the center point revealing that woven rope underneath and that's what we want to tie in to the back side of the fly. Once we get that chenille tied in we can bring our thread forward to the original tie-in point at the front side of the fly before wrapping our chenille onto the hook shank moving forward. Touching wraps right next to each other all the way to the front, again, leaving a little bit of space behind that eye. And then you can capture that chenille down with a few wraps behind and a few wraps in front before trimming off the excess. Once you trim off the excess chenille, we're going to rib this fly with our diamond braid. To do so, we want to twist this diamond braid into a tight rope. I'm using plunger style hackle pliers, but you can also use your finger to just twist it and twist it until it gets as tight as you really want it to. And then you can begin wrapping your ribbing material forward in spiral wraps. Keep some separation between the wraps so that that crystal chenille can shine through and uh, make four or five good wraps forward to the eye of the hook before capturing that diamond braid. And before trimming it, we wanna pull that diamond braid tag rearward and capture the material down so that the tag extends off the back of the hook like a wing. And then trim the wing material about the same length as the body and the tail, and then separate those fibers with your bodkin to make them splay out and, and add a little flashy underwing for the top of the fly. The final material is the overwing, which is going to be black marabou. We're just going to, again, stroke the fibers towards the tips to make a nice streamlined clump of marabou feathers. Measure it on the top side of the hook shank to be, again, the same length as the body and the tail combined. It's just going to sit right on top of that underwing material. A lot of movement, a little bit of color, and then that flash of that uh, SSS diamond braid is going to shine through as this thing moves through the water column. It's a deadly pattern. Uh, instead of just tying the whole feather in though, just trim it. Trim that marabou feather at the point where you want it to be tied in and tie it in kind of like you would some deer hair on a caddis. Just grab those fibers right at the front, capture them down, and then use thread wraps to build up a nice solid black head on this fly. Add a few half hitches or a whip finish and then trim off your thread. The final step is just giving the, the head of your fly a nice coat of UV epoxy. So go ahead and add one or two layers of UV epoxy to the head of the Mosaic Viva and then hit it with the light to solidify what will become hopefully one of your favorite new streamer patterns in your box. And hopefully it'll help you catch more fish on your home waters. These are all the materials you need to tie a Mosaic Viva. Head down to your local fly shop and make sure you ask for larva lace by name. Of course, you can always head to hagensfish.com, click on the larva lace section, and Lori will help get you set up with all the materials that you need to, to tie high-quality flies that simply just catch fish. Share your successes and ask questions 
the Fly Tying University Facebook page. It's a community for all fly tires. Share your favorite fishing stories and, and hear the stories from others at fishstories.org. Thanks for being a part of the Larval Ace community. And thanks for sharing your creations with us on Instagram and on Facebook. We love seeing all of the great patterns that everyone ties using Larval Lace materials, and we really appreciate everyone being a part of, uh, of this fly tying experience. Here's to more tight lines and well-tied flies. Thanks for watching.